Rotterdam industrialists have some great plans and brilliant ideas. The Rotterdam Bank, the Holland America Line, the White House Office Tower, and the Rotterdam Trade Association. In the 1920s and 30s, Rotterdam becomes the place to be for architecture, design, and modern culture. From vanilla and the kite to jazz music and the pulsating nightlife of the Colosseum, a vibrant Rotterdam. But then, 14th of May, 1940. In less than 15 minutes, some 97,000 kilograms of high explosive bombs destroy our city. Pulverized, broken, a wasteland. Immediately we start clearing away the rubble, and in just over a week, there is a plan for the reconstruction. We see the reconstruction as an opportunity to make Rotterdam an ultra-modern city. We have to carry on, and we do so with light, air, and space. We build the first car-free shopping street in the world, a high-tech metro line, the highest towers, and all the while our harbors keep operating at full throttle. Plenty of work. And oh, we were also the first club in Holland to win the European Cup. Rotterdam likes to be ahead of the game. We don't just build high, we build crazy cube-shaped houses. The elegant Erasmus Bridge, the legendary Coco, an iconic central station, and a market hall that will make your jaw drop. We enjoy art and architectural masterpieces with a multicultural influence, because everyone is welcome here. So that's Rotterdam today, and tomorrow, because Rotterdam is always thinking ahead with innovations such as our floating farm and Dutch wind wheel, a city you can keep on discovering. Rotterdam Discovery.